What's up guys? It's your favorite mattress reviewers on the web, Adrian and Lauren from Mattress Nerd. Usually we're really good friends, but today we're having a big disagreement over which memory foam mattress is better, the Layla or the Nectar mattress. As an indecisive chick, I'm team Layla. And today I'm riding for the classic Nectar. So if you're trying to decide which mattress is right for you, grab a blanket and get cozy because this is going to be a fun one. We're going to talk about the construction, firmness, and feel of each bed to help you decide which to choose. But first, make sure you check out mattressnerd.com where you'll find a ton of in-depth, unbiased mattress and bedding reviews, as well as some great discounts on your favorite mattress brands, but you can also find those in the description below. Hit that subscribe button, let's get started, and may the best mattress win. easy and show you the similarities between these two mattresses because everyone loves a good friendship. First up, both mattresses are made with all foam layers. Next, both of these beds offer lifetime warranties with the purchase of the mattress. And finally, both beds are a medium firm firmness level, so they're going to work for average weight and lightweight sleepers. Now, we're putting our friendship on the back burner as we go to bat for our respective mattresses as we cover the differences. Like how Layla is a flippable bed with two firmness levels, medium soft and medium firm. Nectar only has one. Or how though both mattresses do have a lifetime warranty, Nectar gives you 365 nights to try out the mattress. Layla only gives you 120. Well, Layla works better for side sleepers because of that soft side of the mattress. Now your first mattress nerd lesson is going to be in dissection. We unzipped both of these mattresses and cut into the fire barriers to show you what's under the hood, and we're going to start with the covers. Both of these covers are completely unzippable, but the Nectar's is cool to the touch and completely machine washable. Beat that. I will, because Layla has not only one, but two comfort layers, one on the top and one on the bottom. The soft side uses three inches of plush foam, while the firm side only uses one inch, but both foams are infused with copper and gel, and the brand says that they are antimicrobial. Well, Nectar's comfort layer is a three inch layer of gel infused foam. It's gonna have a feel kind of like Tempur-Pedic, and then underneath it's got a layer of transition foam that's gonna add a little bit more bounce. Well, Layla has two support layers. One is a two inch support layer that uses perforations to maximize airflow throughout the mattress, and the other one is a four inch high density foam layer that adds durability and it helps with motion isolation. Nectar goes in a little bit of a different direction with their base layer. It's just a seven inch tall block of foam that's gonna be really high density and add to the overall durability. But either way, I encourage you to Google our written reviews of these mattresses to learn more about the construction by Googling Mattress Nerd Layla Mattress or Mattress Nerd Nectar Mattress for in-depth reviews. Here at Mattress Nerd, we rate mattress firmness on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being as firm as the desk you took a nap on when you finished a test early in school, and 1 being as soft as the puffy jacket you laid your head on. The Nectar is a 6 out of 10 on that scale. And the soft side of the Layla is a 4 out of 10 on that scale, while the firm side is 6.5 out of 10. When it comes to responsiveness, the firm side of the Layla is going to respond to your movements better than the soft side. But the Nectar certainly takes the cake on responsiveness thanks to that foam transition layer. It's gonna give you a little bit of extra bounce. Now, if you take nothing else away from this video, know that your primary sleeping position is the main thing you should be thinking about when mattress shopping. That's because a bed's gonna perform differently based on if you're a side, back, or stomach sleeper. Now, first up, if you're a side sleeper, you wanna look for a mattress that relieves pressure along the hips and the shoulders and also keeps your spine in its proper alignment. I'd say that the soft side of the Layla and the Nectar are gonna do a great job for side sleepers. Now, back sleepers are pretty easy to please. You just need a mattress that keeps you comfortable and allows the natural S-curve of your spine to be maintained, and both beds do a great job at this. Finally, stomach sleepers need a mattress that's firm enough to keep their hips elevated on top of the bed. And as much as I hate to say it, the Nectar is not gonna be ideal for stomach sleepers. Layla's gonna work for lightweight and average weight stomach sleepers. 
Now it's time for the most sciencey part of the show, the pressure relief comparison. We've got a special guest, the pressure relief map, which is gonna show how each mattress distributes your body weight. Blues and greens on the map are gonna indicate really good pressure distribution. Once we start getting into those warm colors like red, orange, and yellow, that's gonna indicate more of a pressure buildup. So let's jump in and see how we did. Now on the Layla mattress, the firm and the soft side are gonna have different results, but starting on the firm side, in that side map, you see a lot of red and yellow on the hips and on the shoulders, and on the back map, we see blues and greens all around. But when we switch to the soft side, we see blues and greens in the side and the back maps, so you should be really pressure-free sleeping on Layla. And for Nectar, we're seeing a really great story in both sleeping maps. In the back map, we've got blues and greens, really great distribution, and again, in the side, pretty much even distribution, so it's gonna be good if you have sensitive joints. Before we go ahead and tell you guys who should get each mattress, we still have two final performance factors to cover. Motion isolation and edge support. Edge support is pretty self-explanatory. It's how supportive the perimeter of your mattress is. Now lucky for you guys, both the Layla and the Nectar mattresses offer great edge support. Well, you're even luckier with the Nectar because the Nectar is really great at cutting down on movement right at the source. In other words, it's really good at motion isolation because of those thick foam layers. But the Layla also isolates motion really well. So who should get the Layla mattress? Anyone who's not sure which firmness level they prefer. As a flippable mattress with dual firmness sides, you can figure out if you're hashtag team soft side or hashtag team firm side. Side sleepers will also find nice pressure relief and spinal alignment on the soft side of the Layla. And finally, couples should find a great motion isolation on the surface of the Layla mattress. Now who should get the Nectar mattress? First up, it's gonna be really good if you like a balanced foam feel. Second, it's gonna be good for people with allergies because you can just unzip the cover and wash it in the washing machine. And finally, if you're a combination sleeper who likes to move around at night, you can launch yourselves around the Nectar really easily with that responsive foam. In my hand, I've got some FAQs. Let's dive in and answer them. Question number one, which mattress is better, Layla or Nectar? Well, we are unbiased mattress reviewers, so I'll remain impartial. Nectar is gonna be good if you like an all foam mattress and move around a lot as you sleep. And Layla is gonna be better if you don't know which firmness level you find the most comfortable. Question number two, what is the best memory foam mattress? The best memory foam mattress is cradling, it relieves pressure, and it keeps your spine aligned, and the Layla and the Nectar mattresses check all these boxes. But for more great foam mattress options, check out the link in our description. And question number three, can you flip these mattresses? Well, for the Nectar, that's a no, but you can rotate the mattress from the head to the foot. And for the Layla, it's a yes. There are different firmness levels on each side to flip to find your perfect firmness. All right guys, we reached the end of this video because the two of us obviously can't choose a winner. We'll leave it up to you. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if it was helpful at all to you and definitely comment down below which mattress you're going for, Nectar or Layla. And don't worry, we'll take it very personally. Bye. Yeah. Yay. <laughs>